To get started, you need a 10 millimeter socket to take these nuts off. Once you have the housing off, you want to check, make sure that the two dogs come out, that they're still there. Sometimes they break off. And you also want to check to see if the spring works. Just turn it a few times. Okay, this is working. You have to get out the remaining string that's in here. Let's see how we're going to do this one. In this case, it was only this that broke off. Kind of odd that it broke off like this. I don't have any new cord for this. This feels pretty stiff. And I think it's a little on the thin side. But this is an older machine. The newer ones, I believe, the number of the cord is 5.5. .5, and you need approximately 5 feet of this cord. I would go 5 feet and a couple inches. Leave room for the knot. You can cut the excess off. Now, what I'm going to do over here, where the cord comes in, right about here, I'm going to heat up an old screwdriver and I'm going to burn a notch into it right here. And you'll see why in a moment. I'm going to use the same cord because I don't have this particular one in stock right now. And I will be ordering more because it is October and I'll, be, I'll probably be getting a few of these coming in. If you like, I'll have an Amazon link down below where you can go to it. And what I'm going to do now is melt the tip of this cord, make it a little bit of a point so I can get it into here. Now if you look under here, there's a hole right under my thumb. You want to line that hole up where the cord goes in. You want to make a notch right above that hole or to the side. Either way. But for this I'm going to go right above the hole where the cord has to come through. Just using a torch. Heating up a screwdriver, a Phillips head screwdriver to burn that notch. And you'll see why we need the notch in a minute. And my torch just went out. Now we have the notch right above the hole where the cord has to come in. The cord, I melted, made a point on it. And the cord we're going to put in through the top and come out through there and we'll knot it there. I need two hands for this so I have to put the camera down. Once you have the cord through the bottom, you want to knot it. You want to get this knot good and tight, make sure it doesn't slip out. Pull it back out this way. Have it tucked in. Now with a pick, a needle nose plier, or even a, a paper clip, we want to get this cord through the notch. Again, I have to put this camera down. I need two hands. Once you snag it, you want to pull it up. See, it's in that notch now. Get over here. I'm trying to get some better lighting with the camera. Okay, this looks better. You can see that it's coming up through that notch. Get it back. It's original spot. Again, this cord should be about five feet. Once you have it in this position, you want to wind it now. This is not necessary. I want to show you a way you can replace this cord without melting these grooves in here. And I have Johnny, my cameraman, just came out. He's going to help me. Johnny, could you hold that camera right on here? Yep. All right. Okay, now what we're going to do, for five feet of cord, approximately five turns on this, we're going to use this marker here and start counting that, and we're going to start counting. Bring it up to where it's got to go. 
It's where the cords are going to come in. So we have it's one, two, three. Was that two or three? Three. Three. You sure? Yes. Four. And here comes five. Put a screwdriver in there to hold it so it doesn't move while we're fiddling with the cord. We get the cord in here. And we got to get it through that hole underneath. Now with your needle nose pliers, I'm going to pull this cord through. Line it up a little better. Don't move, Johnny. I'll move. Okay, there we go. Tie a knot. It could be just a single knot. But you want to make sure it's tight. I'm going to use a pair of plies to pull on this. As you're using it, it gets tighter, but you want to make sure it doesn't slip out. That's tight. Pull it back in there. Make sure it's tucked in, not interfering with anything. Pull the screwdriver out. And let this wind in slow. Hold it just like that. If you get it right, your handle should be coming up. If your handle's hanging, you'll have to turn it one more time. You can go a little looser with this or a little tighter. You don't want to make it too tight because when you pull that cord, you can snap the spring on the inside. You don't want to let this go. I'm going to put a couple of drops of oil in here and then we'll remount it. All right, I have it mounted back on. Not only did I put a couple of drops of oil on the recoil, on the studs coming out, I didn't use antices because it's not all that bad over here, but I did put a couple of drops of oil on it again. There was a little bit of rust on it I cleaned up, and you never know, this might have to be changed sometime in the near future. I'm going to crank it up, see if it starts, or at the very least, that this is working okay. Okay, John, grab the camera. Okay. Right. The shoe is in it, Grandpa. You got it? Yep, All go. Right, here we go. Here we go. Guess what, Johnny? What? You forgot to prime it. Oh. The primer works. You hear it sucking? Okay. Yep. Oh, it slipped right out of my hand. recoil works it started it up everything's good on this end now to get to the rest of this machine if you have any questions or comments post them down below if you found this video useful be sure to give it a like pass it along and if you haven't done so already hit that notification bell not to miss my new videos as I upload them and as always stay safe